Hello and welcome back to our channel. This video is about ClearPass SQL. So we will be setting up two SQL databases and configure them with ClearPass so we can authenticate users and devices to that external SQL database, which might be helpful in your lab if you need to set it up at customers. And I separated this uh, series out in a few videos. So this video will be solely about uh, setting up the MySQL database on an Ubuntu Linux system. So if you have that Ubuntu Linux system, I will show you how to set it up. There will be separate videos uh, for setting up Postgres and uh, to use this database with uh, ClearPass. Uh, that will also be different videos. So you can take the videos that you want from this series. So let's uh, bring on the Ubuntu server. So this is my uh, Ubuntu server. As you can see, it's an uh, Ubuntu 14.04 uh, uh, long-term uh, release. There is a newer version and probably most things will be very similar if you do that on that uh, more recent release or even on a different distribution. Um, so let's get started. I created a script here to uh, do all the installation work. So we start with installing the SQL Server packages. Um, so we do that with uh, an apt-get install my SQL Server. It will ask me for my password. And here you can see that it will propose uh, these uh, packages. So let's do that. Now it will ask us for a password for the SQL root user. Let's type that in. And uh, as you can see, it's now installing the database and um, should be done any minute. So let's get back to the script because the next step uh, will be that we are changing some configuration. So we need to change the MySQL uh, database uh, configuration file, which is the uh, my.conf. And we uh, will make the server listen on any address. So also on the network, because if we want to have ClearPass to get access to MySQL, uh, we will need to uh, allow that. So we do a sudo vi. I like VI and we search for the bind address and here we can see by default it's only listening to localhost. So it's not listening on the network. So let's open that up. And now it's uh, listening also on the network um, after we restarted the server. So let's restart the service. Oh. And after we started, I do a net stat, uh, which you can see that uh, there is something listening on port uh, 3306, which is the MySQL port. And it's listening now on 0000. So it's also network connected. So that's good. Also, if you have an Ubuntu firewall uh, uh, configured on your system, uh, which might be a good idea, it's good to uh, allow this traffic and you can do that with this command. Uh, the Ubuntu firewall allow from the ClearPass server to any port uh, 3306 and uh, TCP. And then only the uh, ClearPass server can access this uh, MySQL server. It's uh, not really recommended to put uh, ClearPass servers open on your uh, network unless you take the proper security measures. Um, then. If we have it installed and it's listening on the network, uh, next step will be that we are creating the database. So let's first start the MySQL command here. So um, we are authenticating as user root. The minus u root is the user and it is as for password. So this is the same password that we uh, entered during the installation. You saw that blue screen. Um, I had to enter a password. So that's uh, this password. And uh, as you can see, we are now connected to the database and we are creating a database with the name CP demo and that will be the database that we are uh, referencing later on in ClearPass. Now we connect to the database CP demo and then we will be in uh, that database and uh, we now will be uh, granting the remote user. So we are um, uh, saying here, grant all privileges. Uh, this, uh, so we give all privileges uh, on the CP demo database on all tables 
to the user ClearPass at this IP address, which is the IP address of my ClearPass server identified by um, this password. So you see here, this is uh, all tables in the CP demo database for this user um, with this password. So it's as easy as that, as you know, if you know um, what it is. So we can do a show grants so we can see what the ClearPass uh, server is allowed to do. So we see here that it is indeed um, getting access to the database. So that's good. Now we can uh, continue and uh, we start by creating a table CP user. So this is an example uh, database uh, or example table where we have uh, an uh, user ID uh, we put in the first name, the last name, uh, the email address, uh, the username, and then we do uh, the password. Um, and we store the password also as an MD5 and a SHA password and a SHA256 password, which are the four methods that ClearPass can use to do the authentication. So by putting them all in, uh, you can with the single table uh, do all the authentications uh, with all uh, mechanisms. Then next step is that we are inserting user data into that table and we do that with the insert command, SQL command. So we are inserting the CP username, which is here test user. Then the first name is test first, the last name is test last, email is test that. CP password is Aruba123. Uh, the CP password MD5 will be MD5. So MySQL will calculate the MD5 uh, version of that password. The SHA version will be this one and the SHA-256, um, it's called um, a SHA-2 uh, with 250, uh, 256 bits. Um, so that will uh, put that data in the database. And um, we can check that it was okay by running the select star from so here we see um, this database has been filled now. The CP password is this. The, this is the MD5. This is the uh, SHA version and this is the SHA256. So we have all these uh, versions of the password in the database and we can leverage that later on. So what we will do besides user authentication is also a device authorization. So we are creating a kind of uh, CMDB. So we are creating a table CP device um, with values like uh, the MAC address, uh, like the name of the device. We can put in uh, the location, a label, color, status. Basically, we can put in any data. And uh, for one of my devices, I have uh, created this data. So let's put that in the database as well. So this is uh, the MAC address and it's an access IP camera on the second floor backside. Um, the uh, label is security, the color is white, the status is production. Um, so um, then we have some data to play with in uh, ClearPass. And as you can see, we now see um, that in the CP device table, we have this data available. So that makes us good to go for the MySQL server side. Um, and we will continue in another video configuring ClearPass and leverage, leveraging uh, this information. So thank you for watching. I hope you will check the other videos as well. And please subscribe to our channel. It will help us a lot. And uh, let us know what you want to see here on this channel. So thanks again for watching.